Hi everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House and today we are making a brand new custom. In many of my recent videos, I've been doing reviews of sea ponies. So today I'm going to take one of these and make a custom. I have Twilight Sparkle here and I'm going to make her into a custom Ariel from the Disney movie Little Mermaid. The reason why I'm picking Twilight Sparkle is because she's an alicorn and I thought since Ariel is a princess, I'll make her an alicorn too. One thing I want to try in this custom is to reroute the hair. I usually make hair out of clay, but this time I'm going to try to replace the hair instead. So this is going to be my first rerouting project. I hope it turns out well. To do this, I have some new tools. I have a pair of long nose pliers, a rerouting needle, and some hair. Alright, let's get started. So one of the first things I'm gonna do is take off this glitter. So this one, so this sea pony has some glitter on the outside and it's just glued on. So what I'm gonna do is take an X-Acto knife and just kind of scrape it off because this will make the paint look rough when I'm painting the body. Now you can see that I've taken off the glitter so it's smoother now and it'll be easier for the paint to go on without looking rough. The next step we're going to do is remove the hair. So we're going to take an X-Acto knife or a scissors and we're going to start cutting off the hair very close to the scalp. Alright, <laughs> doesn't she look strange? The next step we're going to remove the head. And as you can see here, down here is a neck plug. We're going to have to remove this. Since the neck plug is glued on pretty tight, I'm going to use an X-Acto knife and cut around the rim and then pull it out. Alright, so the neck plug came out and as you can see, I had to cut all the way around uh, just because it wouldn't come out easily. I think it is kind of glued on too. So now we can see the hair. So the hair is on the inside and we're going to take our long nose plier and we're just going to pull out the hair. As you can see, the hair is just coming out. Go. As you can see, all the hair is gone. And you can see the little holes where her hair used to be. And there's nothing on the inside. The next thing we're going to do is paint the head. So I'm going to paint the head a flesh tone. Then using white, I'm going to redraw the eyes. I'm going to add in the blue irises. The black pupils. Using black, we're also going to draw in her eyelashes. Then add white dots in her eyes. With red, we're going to repaint her smile back. On her horn, I painted it a flesh tone, but I wanted to make it stand out, so I'm going to add some white pearlizing medium over it. So it's going to be a little bit white and pearly. So now for the hair, I am going to be using a reddish hair color. And we're going to be using this tool to help put the hair in. So this is just a needle with a prong on the end. And this will help grab the hair and push it into the head. So what I'm going to do is take a little bit of this hair and slip it through the prongs. So that we have hair right here like this. 
Once we have the hair, we're going to line it with one of these holes and push it all the way in. And we're going to do this with the rest of the hair. So I've done about half of the pony's head. So let me show you what I'm doing. So you take a thin strand of hair and you want to wrap it around your finger and pull it taut. So that way you can get it into the hook. Now the hook might not grab all the hair, which is okay because you can clear it away. And keep the hair that you have. Make sure that it is about even and then you want to hold it down. You find the hole that you want to put the hair in. So let's say we want to put it into this one. Put the needle in and I'm just going to let go of the hair so I don't pull it out and push it in. Go. All right, everyone, so we are done and the hair looks beautiful. Look at this. <laughs> Doesn't this look nice? So as you can see, there's a lot of hair on the inside and right now it's just loosely plugged in there. So what we need to do is actually pour some glue in there and glue the hair down. So I have some E6000 and we're just going to uh, pour some in there and make sure all the roots are covered. For the body, I'm going to start by painting the front half of her body a flesh tone. Then we're going to paint the lower portion of her body a light green color. We're also going to paint her wings the same color too. Now with a darker green, I'm going to paint just the body portion. So it's just the lower body. And as you can see now, there are two tones. There's a darker green and a lighter green. So I'm going to add one more coat of light green. And while it's still wet, I'm going to blend some of the darker green in. So here, especially along the edges. I'm going to do the inside and the outside. I'm going to do this for all the fins. Now we're going to do one more thing. We're going to add a pearlizing medium over it. And this way will make it look very nice and pearly. Since Ariel is such a good singer, I'm going to use music notes as her cutie mark. So I'm going to paint this in red. On the front of the body, I'm going to use purple and we're going to draw in her seashells. As a final touch, we're going to add some glitter. So on her purple seashells, we're going to add some purple glitter. And then on her body, we're going to add some dark green glitter. So here is Ariel as a sea pony. What do you guys think? <laughs> so I just love the way she turned out. She is so beautiful with this new hair. So this is a beautiful color for her hair. And I'm really glad that I rerouted it instead of using clay with it. So here is a close up of her face. And as you can see, she has these huge, gorgeous eyes with eyelashes. And I did paint her horn with a pearly white color so that it stands out a little bit more from the rest of her head. And there's her beautiful smile. <laughs> 
and I know ponies usually don't wear um, bikini tops but I thought since this is Ariel we kind of needed those purple shells so I did have those purple shells with a little bit of glitter on top and over here is her body I did make it so that her head can still turn so this is actually quite nice that we can pose her with her head turning and for her body, it is two-toned. Up here, it's a flesh tone, and on the bottom is a green color. Her body is actually a darker green than from the tail, so I don't know if you can see that under the glitter. But it's a little bit darker green, and her fins are a lighter green color. And so after I painted it, I did um, cut away the, the paint around the uh, edges here so that we can still rotate. So this is kind of pretty cool. We can still rotate and still have Ariel kind of sitting in an upright position. Or we can have her in kind of a swimming position. <laughs> so let me show you the other side just with her hair. She's super, super gorgeous with this hair. Alright everyone, so let me know down below in the comment section what you think of my Ariel Sea Pony and also of my first rerouting uh, project. So the hair did take me some time to do. In the beginning, it was kind of hard just getting enough hair in my needle to uh, insert into the hole. But after a while, I started getting used to it and um, it went along pretty, uh, pretty fast. And if you guys like this video, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!